In today's tutorial, I'm gonna be showing you guys where you can get high quality. And when I say high quality, I really mean very high resolution, very high quality textures of Earth and all sort of space related things from NASA's own website. I'm gonna show you where to get it. And then I'm gonna show you how to download it and how we actually use it in Blender. And there's actually a lot more to this because um, the UV sphere in Blender out of the box will work with this texture. But I'm gonna show you how it works procedurally so we get an even nicer, smoother projection. This can be very handy for all sorts of projects that you're working on if you wanna make like a planet or something. So keep watching this tutorial and I'm gonna show you how you can make this sort of mapping work and where you can get the texture. So let's jump in. So I'm gonna quickly show you guys where you can find these free NASA images. You're simply gonna to go to your search engine and you're gonna type in NASA and you're gonna simply type in blue marble textures, okay? And then you're gonna just press enter and you're gonna see that it comes up with a result called blue marble. You're just gonna click on that. You can see here it's the NASA um, domain here and you're gonna see all of these different options. Now the one we're gonna go for is down here. You're gonna see some of these if you scroll through here. They have a lot of these different um, sort of maps that look kind of rectangular like this. So we're gonna go with this one over here. You can pick whichever one you want. They even have like a nighttime one. And um, so I'm gonna click on it. And then when you click on it, if you scroll down, you can see it opens up this option here. You get all of these different ones you can go for, the PNG. Some of these are really, really big files. That's why I don't see a little preview, but I'm just gonna go with this smaller JPEG over here. And then what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna click on download. It gives you quite a lot of options. I'm just gonna right click here and go save image as. I'm gonna save it to my desktop. And then now that we have it somewhere, I'm gonna jump into Blender. So I'm just gonna create a new scene here in Blender. And uh, it doesn't really matter what object you use. Let's just actually start off with a sphere. So I'm gonna just delete everything and add in a UV sphere, which seems like a natural object to add in. And we're gonna go into our shading workspace. We're gonna click new and call create a material. This is called Earth. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna come to this base color here. We're just gonna drag on it and type in image. So we're gonna get an image texture. And then we're just gonna click on open and we're gonna to go to wherever it is we saved it. In this case, it's on my desktop. I wanna click on that image and now we can see here, voila, we have it. And you might think, end of tutorial, what more do I need to know? Well, I'm actually gonna explain a few things here because at the moment, this sphere here is conveniently wrapped up. But if you look at the edges here, it's looking really messed up. Even if you go right click and you go shade smooth. And if we go over to our UV editing workspace, you can see here this UV sphere in Blender by default, it comes with um, this kind of mapping here, but it has some limitations. I'm gonna show you something even better. If we go to our image texture, and we go over here, and we change this from flat to sphere, and then we go and drag on the vector here and type in texture coordinate, and we go with generated. So make sure generated is plugged into the vector. All of a sudden we can see we have it perfectly projected and there's none of that seams here at the pole. So even if I turn on my wireframe, so you can see here, look at that, it's beautifully mapped. And the cool thing about this, even if we were to um, go into object mode, and let's just add in a square, a cube. And let's move this cube over. Let's go into our material preview and let's go down, give it that earth um, material. If we tab in here now, you can see it's perfectly mapped. We can right click and go um, subdivide and let's come here and let's subdivide it a whole bunch of times. And now if we go shift alt s so shift alt s and we round that out you can see look at that even though we're dealing with something here that has completely different topology you can see it still maps beautifully um, i'm going to quickly turn the wireframe off but you guys get the idea here so this spherical projection is procedural we could even go ahead and add in suzanne monkey head over here and let's tap in let's go shift alt s and just smooth that out let's right click subdivide Shift Alt S again, let's really just make that a round object. And let's go and give this that same shader, right click and go shade smooth. And here you can see we've even turned Suzanne into a little planet. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this tutorial. If it's been a help to you, definitely give it a like and share it. it really helps me out and I really appreciate all of the subscribers. I'll see you guys next time for another tutorial.